Hey guys, welcome back to HPI Auto. This is Evan. Today I'm going over the lithium batteries on the Cayennes, uh, some of the 911s, so on and so forth. So what we've had is there's a huge run on these lithium batteries where they're dying. And when they die, the car goes into protection mode and it locks everything down. The battery will not accept a charge. You can jump it from the post inside, but you're gonna get a electro electrical warning on the dash. Stuff like suspension will be riding super rough and it's really a huge pain in the butt. But the biggest thing is the batteries are $2,000 from Porsche and Porsche is the only person that makes it. And right now they're on back order for about a month and a half, which is a huge issue because we have cars like this that are stuck and can't do anything about it. So this is digging online. I found a company that makes a conversion harness to go from the lithium to the AGM. And I'm gonna give it a try, see if it works. It's just the cable with your uh, battery sensor on there, uh, a little jump harness that goes to the factory harness to the, to the limb bus line, a little dongle that's supposed to reprogram the car uh, to accept the AGM battery. I can do where the PU is, but I want to see if this works. And then your, your vent tube. And then of course your battery, you can do H7, H8, anything like that. So today, it's a video of me installing it on this car, seeing if it works, and kind of being a little test mode for everybody out there, and hopefully this helps some of you guys out. So I'm gonna start by removing the old battery, removing the old cable, and kind of going through the process. We're gonna take the harness, the, the, the connector for the regular sensor. We're gonna pull this little blue piece out, which is a stopper to keep water from getting inside there. There she goes. All right, and then here's your lock for the connector. So this little purple thing, you wanna unlock that. That'll allow the new pin, our new harness. And we wanna see kinda how it goes. So we wanna put our lock up top. So you wanna slide it in. So now that's in, see both sides. Lock that down in place. And this is gonna come across. And you wanna find either, either one of these is fine, but you're gonna take this terminal I'm gonna put it on either one of these. Doesn't matter which one. I just realized, a oh, note for everybody else in the future, they put the nut on the wrong one. So that's cool. So we'll reuse that nut right there. We want to plug our sensor or our connector into there. That's good. This will just find a spot for it to go. We'll tidy it up. And then we have our vent, which on the uh, AGM battery is much larger than on the, I mean, on the lithium battery, the vent's much larger. So we have an adapter that we will we'll use. With the adapter, we'll just put that in here. It'll clip in like so, and that'll fit into the AGM battery. Now we're ready just to put the battery back in here and start that process up. Should be able to take this dongle and we'll put in the, uh, the OBD port. Put that in, we're gonna turn the key. I'm gonna let it sit for about five minutes. Let it do its thing. We have some faults right now which is to be expected for parking brake. So we're gonna let this sit for about five minutes and we'll come back, turn the key off, cut the car on, and see what we got. All right, so now we're gonna see if it actually works. Key on. Cranks up. The parking brake's flashing, but we should. Yeah, so if the parking brake's flashing like that, all you need to do is just set your parking brake and unset it, and it should go away. We do have a check engine light on, so I'd be curious to see what that is. We'll scan it real quick, and we'll show, and we'll see what we got on the check engine light side. Let's see, let me grab the tool. I'd guess it's gonna be a lot of low voltage codes. 
So as you can see, the codes are kind of a lot of terminal three voltage. It's a bunch of voltage codes. So we're gonna erase these codes in the DME. Crank it back up. See what we got going on. I'm gonna close this door so it can show that. So right now, we got our battery reading 4.2 volts, 4.3 volts, which is gonna be a little bit higher than uh, the lithium, but it's actually still in, in spec, so that's good. We've got no fault codes on the uh, dash. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and just, when a battery dies in these cars, it's gonna throw voltage codes through all the control modules. So I'll do a full scan and a full delete I get all those out of there, um, but as you can see, it works. Um, and it is substantially cheaper than replacing with a lithium battery. Uh, you can run an H7 battery, an H8 battery, either one of those be fine. You know, do the, do the kit uh, or come to me and do it, either way, you know. But it works and it looks like this is gonna be a massive, massive solution to the chronic failure of these lithium batteries across all these Porsche models. Uh, I'm not quite sure why they're doing it, but uh, this is what we're gonna do from now on. Um, unless the customer wants to replace lithium battery, we'll do it. Otherwise, I'm gonna suggest doing the conversion to AGM every single time. Um, it's gonna be a lot less headache down the road and much, much cheaper for the client. So yeah, I'm gonna just gonna do a quick uh, scan of the vehicle, clear everything out and put it back together and we should be rolling. If you guys have any questions, comments, Please feel free to reach out. Love to help you guys with this. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.